I've been getting all these comments on my game's YouTube channel asking about a guy named Atrioc. Now, I've originally just ignored it because I'm a busy guy, but it kept happening. So I decided to investigate this Joker who had stolen my game's name. You see, I'm making a game called Atrio. <laughs> my lawyers, that's the laugh you're gonna hear in court, bitch! If you think you're getting away with the name Atrio! <laughs> I got all my lawyers on this immediately! Hey there, how you doing? So, Ryan, could you introduce yourself to the audience? Sure. Uh, Ryan Black, I'm from DLA Piper. I'm a partner in our Vancouver office, and I represent Yesto and Steven in connection with Atrio. Awesome. Okay, so there's this popular streamer named Atrioc, popular-ish. I have a quote from him, and I quote, My lawyers, that's the laugh you're going to hear in court, bitch. I got all the lawyers. My question to you is, what grounds does he have? Uh, well, you have filed a trademark for the name. You don't say. But uh, if his name predates yours, you know, there's always a potential. So we shouldn't countersue him. I wouldn't recommend countersuing him. Uh... Now what? If we used intimidation. I recently met somebody who lives in the area. We could Hi. send him to rough him up a little bit. That would be uh, illegal okay. uh, under our criminal code. Uh, and so in Canada, I would definitely recommend you not do that. Okay. What would you suggest? Yeah, I mean, Stephen, my, my advice generally is uh, you're usually in on better footing to try and work out a business deal without involving any lawyers. Atrioc, if you're watching this, I propose a deal. I'm willing to forgive you for stealing my game's name if you stream my game when it comes out on Steam August 10th. Here's my proposal to you, because I like your negotiation style. I like your gumption. I like your je ne sais quoi. Add the C. It's cleaner. As your lawyer, I can strongly recommend that you don't do that. Uh... Catrio? <laughs> okay, fine. Add the C in the front. I don't care. <laughs> or put me in the game. That's your other option. You add the C or somewhere in the game, you add the ghost. You add the ghost. You add the clown. You add something. Okay, so this seems like a pretty mutually beneficial relationship, so I want to make this work. And we really have two options. We can change the name to Catrio, which is literally the dumbest idea I've ever heard, or we add the skins. And since we're not doing Catrio because it's literally the dumbest idea I've ever heard, we need to completely overhaul our main character and implement a skin system. Which we're also not going to do because it's like 10 days of work and that's so dumb for one little joke. It's we added the skin system. It took 10 days, but we got it done and this is fine. It lets you control your characters within first kinematics. You can animate your environments, lets you swap out skins, and also has whatever the fuck this is. So I originally had everything already animated in Unity, but rescanning in Unity is a nightmare. So I started by moving all of our existing creatures over to Spine, re-rigging them, animating them exactly like it did in Unity, because somebody wanted to scan. Once that was done, I imported our mini deer into Unity to make sure everything was working and... Uh, uh, okay, to make sure everything was working and... No, 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 Okay, uh, tweaking some parameters, adjusting some physics, and... Shit. It's been two days! Uh, but we got it fixed. And now I'm in desperate need of a haircut. Oh, well, now that I'm looking better and feeling better, I think it's time to work on the main character. In the game, you play a very disposable android. His body explodes and breaks and dies and decays and can be harvested and needless to say, it has the most complicated animations. So we needed to make sure it had breakable parts, a flexible cord and space for a clown suit. I wasn't sure about this one, so I asked a friend of Atriox. Hi. So listen, he talks about clowns quite a bit and he sometimes dresses up like one. Correct me if I'm wrong, he's a juggalo, right? No, did you think he was? Oh, so... Oh, it's just like a hitman thing. It's a deep cut, you know? You can dress up as a clown, clown fart him. It's kind of his thing. So he's not a juggalo. Definitely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think he was. For sure. Anyway, so we rigged him up at Spine and recorded the time lapse, so... Enjoy.
Anyway, so I started to design the skins in Photoshop that Atriox requested, the clown, and then the ghost costume from Fall Guys. After concepting them, I finalized them in Illustrator. Check this, the level of detail in these designs is above and beyond. Like, I really didn't need to add individual strands to the wigs, and I didn't need to add a shiny Fall Guys crown or a golden cord. But you know what? Atriox requested it, and I really wanted to impress him. So with that, I was ready to complete the work. All that was left to do was to submit it, and... Introducing Catrio, baby! Woo! You thought you could stronger arm us into doing your bidding? Think again. My level of pettiness is unrivaled. Ha 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 ha! King of the mountain, baby! Woo! Atrio forever! Atrio forever! Okay, check this out. Check this out, check this out. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, A, boom. Catrio. Title screen, cat theme. Factories, cat theme. Scrap chest, cat theme. Harvesters, cat theme. Meow, Title screen meow, music. Meow, 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 ah, that's, meow. that is horrible. We're not doing that. Cat theme, cat theme, cat theme. And you know what the best part is? This is an objective downgrade from the Atriox designs. Ooh, it feels so good to be petty. Look at the mini deer. He looks cracked. Kind of looks like Weasel from the Suicide Squad. And by the way, this is not a joke. We dropped the Catrio update today along with, you know, the month and a half of real work and bug fixes that we did. Which reminds me, we launched the game in early access. <laughs> but I need to tell you a heartbreaking story. For the last six months, I've been working on this trailer, the trailer, the launch trailer. And leading up to launch, we had a prototype, a script, a professionally recorded voiceover, and a custom song just for the game. My plan was to start and finish the final version two weeks leading up to launch. But every day, something went wrong, and I couldn't start the trailer until four days before launch. What could go wrong? Everything. Let me just show you the messages I sent in those four days that illustrate my complete loss of sanity. Nothing, and I mean nothing was going right. Unity was constantly crashing because of the trailer, and we couldn't figure out why. So I just had to deal with Unity breaking every 20 minutes. And of course, I pulled an all-nighter the final night. Between Friday and Tuesday, I worked on the trailer for 66 hours. It was so f***ed. But I got it done at 4 a.m. And the trailer was amazing. It's honestly the best piece of work I've ever made. It is so good. A professional trailer maker who made the Half-Life Alex trailer wrote an entire article about my trailer saying it was one of the best trailers he'd seen this year. Like it doesn't get any better than that. But it flopped. Compared to all my other YouTube videos, nobody watched it, and the YouTube algorithm, even to this day, just ignored it. It's crushing. It's so crushing because I put so much work into this trailer, and I, I honestly think it's the best piece of work I've ever done. Um, so I have a favor to ask. It's only a minute long. Just go watch it. And if you want, leave a comment just saying, I don't know, a word so I know you watched it. Atrio forever. Seems like a good one. But it would mean a lot to me because it really is super good and I promise you won't regret watching it. Okay, enough, enough of the boring, sad stuff. Let's talk about disrespecting Atriok. Atriok is known for his world record Hitman speedruns. Minutes behind and we're gonna win by fucking more than a minute. Let's go! So I started Atrio's first speedrun category, the Atriok run. Enter the Konami code on the title screen to enter Catrio mode, select free play and spell out Atrio forever with graph pipes and yes, that is an official requirement. And then capture a cracked out looking mini deer and celebrate a world record run. And of course there's the main speed run in which I'm also the record holder in with the time that will never be beaten. What? It's been out for like a day. Anyway, with the Catrio update, out now! Atriok has promised to play our game on Steam, live on his stream, so if you see him playing, make sure to give him a big donation. Because when we sue his ass, that money's coming straight back to me, baby. Woo! I can strongly recommend that you don't do that. So how much um, did it cost to, to make this joke? Uh, you may want to be sitting when you get it. It's going to be substantial. Go buy Atriok on Steam, because Lord knows I could use the money. <laughs> 2.23 a.m. 
I'm about to climb a mountain for what is easily the dumbest joke I've ever made. Eight sixteen, made it to the top of the mountain. Totally worth it. I had to see. <laughs> I'll play it every day.